Good morning YouTube, this is Gunsmith SC. I'm back for a while. Hopefully I stay back and keep the videos coming. But this is videos about my rabbitry. I got a lot of projects going on. Uh, from here on down is pressure treated at 4x4s and I got it painted. And from here on up it's scrap pallets. I did buy four 2x4s, 10 foot long. So I just wouldn't have to deal with piecing them all across here. But everything else, the pallets, the sides are going to be with pallets. The roof truss is going to be at the pallets. And uh, a friend of mine got some metal he's going to go ahead and give me. I got some snapshots from this, from the joints and stuff. Throughout the way, I'll go ahead and cut them and put them in the video. I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys a close look. And let me know what you think about it. I mean, you ain't got to do it this way. This is just the way I did it. You know, if it can help somebody out, great. My cages are going to be suspended off the wood on metal angle. So the yarn <coughs> and the rabbit pellets just fall straight through. I'm also thinking about putting a smaller mesh screen up underneath here to catch the rabbit pellets and let the yarn pass through. So if I want to go ahead and put it in the garden, I could just take it put it in the garden. Uh, if I want to go ahead and say I get my hydroponic, my aquaponic setup started, I could go ahead and take that and use that for, well, hydroponics. You don't want to do it for aquaponics. I can use it for my fertilizers, make manure tea and stuff out of it. Feed it to worms. I mean, you got a bunch of uses for it. Well, I'll stop rambling on. This uh, 4x4 here was real tweaked and twisted, so what I had to do, I had to put it together, and it was all kind of sitting cockeyed. And I went ahead to use this brace down here, put the ratchet strap around it, pull this leg in, and uh, went ahead and put that piece of angle there in there <clears throat> to go ahead and hold it somewhat straight. It's going to be pallets. I'm going to be able to take this down in the summertime and put it back up so I can give them ventilation. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to cut that off there. I'm going to do the same all the way to the back. I just got this up here, just two screws in each piece. I'm just saying I'm going to cut it here and do like a stagger on there and make it look halfway decent. And I'm going to trim this up here and paint everything. Everything's getting painted. I got uh, carpenter bees here. And if I don't go ahead and paint it, the bees will just get in there and eat it up. And there's part of the track. That's just the back piece of the track. I got one on the inside. I'm going to take a piece, 
put it across there, put it across there, and sit the cages in there. Maybe you have one on front and back also. Just make it easy for the cleaning and stuff. And uh, there you go. I got it to where the roof's going to be on a slant. You know, just enough room to put the cage in. I don't... I'm out here working on my wrap tree. I'm working on the roof of my wrap tree. I got my reclaimed metal, my salvaged metal. I went ahead and uh, a buddy of mine had it. Donated it to the cause. And I tried to cut it with my jigsaw, but my damn blades won't stay in my jigsaw. So I had resorted to my grinder with a cutting wheel. Now I took off the handle and the safety for the cutting wheel to fit. So, be very careful if you uh, do the same. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark it. I'll pull a chalk line across it, snap the chalk line, and go ahead and cut one in. Then go to the other side and measure down there and cut that one. And I should have a little tiny piece in between. I'll get back with you in a few. metal cut for the roof and <clears throat> now I'm going to measure it I'm going to have it about an inch overhang on the front that might be enough might not be enough <clears throat> I'm going to start securing it down then I'm going to do the back and uh after I put my cages in there I'm probably going to go ahead and have like a canvas tarp up here on a dowel to where I can roll it up and drop it down just in case it gets windy and stuff and uh have it anchored down so the rabbits won't go ahead and have that wind on them. And uh, rabbit hut's going pretty good right now. This is got the track inside of it. There's a track on the back wall. There's a track over here on this one. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get another piece of track and run it across there on each side. I have my cages sitting in there and have it uh, support it so they can't get to the wood to foul it out or urine on it. And uh, just finished putting up the roof.
Yeah, I like the way it came out. It came out nice, quite nicely, if I do say so myself. And uh, the best thing about this is I got about $67 in this whole thing. And I got the money tied up in the paint. Everything else was pretty, oh. That 2x4 there. That 2x4 there. The one in the back and that 2x4 there are the only two things I bought. Wood-wise. Everything else was salvaged and uh, pallets. This whole thing is made out of scrap stuff. The metal on top, a buddy of mine gave it to me. I guess he's hoping for some uh, rabbits. I no problem. I hook them up with a few of them. Yeah, they were real easy to put in. I just measured two squares up. Well, cut out actually three squares. But, uh, Went ahead and measured two up from the bottom and cut two of the cross supports. Came up here and cut all the way across to the side and wedged them in there. And uh, that one rabbit hutch that I was working on that I mutilated up, this is it here. That's for my buck. This is the one I had to move the door over to the side. I don't know if you can see that, but looking at the back, you see that smaller metal? I went ahead and patched the door up. That's where the old doorway was. Should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs>